uh, now then, for years, the likes of James, the Farm, and Star Sailor were right at the forefront of the bands that changed the face of music. They continue to tour, but now they're also turning their focus to one of the big issues facing society today, food poverty. Yeah, today, they spent the day at a food bank in Manchester where demand is spiralling. Mel Boren was there too. Where are the peach halves and the fruit cocktail That's going? That's it. Any else you want? Yeah. They're more used to packing out music venues than food parcels, but these three music icons are amongst the acts about to take part in a very special concert. Think of it as a modern-day Manchester version of Live Aid. Music feeds live, hoping to do what it says on the tin. <laughs> We're all kind of aware that a lot more people are having recourse to using food banks. and As musicians, do we have a voice? And so I think it's quite good that we use our voice. Take you down to the it follows an online festival put on during the pandemic, which raised more than a million. This time it'll be live on stage, with none other than Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher hosting. I think we were at 15, 16 artists, and we've also got an orchestra. Lanterns on the Lake are coming, a poet laureate. You know, there's some real quality on the bill. And then we've got us three. <laughs> Just to bring the tone down a bit. <laughs> it's a great opportunity to do something ambitious like this because backstage of these sort of multi-band bills aren't always the most relaxed environments, but I've noticed that when everyone's coming together for a great cause everyone just does what they need to do to make it happen the biscuits, biscuits, yeah. all artists are giving up their services for free and the money raised will go towards funding food banks like this one we're now supporting 1300 people each month which is more than we ever have ever have before and that's just across the three food bank sites that we run here in sort of central Manchester. We heard about it and we were big supporters of fans supporting food banks in Liverpool. So when we saw this, uh, based in Manchester, we thought it's the right thing to do. You know? It's just a way of putting something back. And also I wanted to meet Gary Neville <laughs> to tell him a few things. <laughs> What are you going to tell him? <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's between all of us. And will we see all three of you on stage? You know, one super well, band? I'm sure there'll be a big finale, won't there? I would have thought. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if only there was a song about bringing people together. I know, I wouldn't have yeah. 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 Something about people coming together. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what song it might be. The gig takes place on the 27th of February, and they're hoping it'll feed more than just the soul. Mel Barham, ITV News, Manchester. Yeah, good on you guys and good on you to all the musicians taking part in the gig. If you want to buy tickets to that show, you'll find all the details um, on our website. That is the usual address. Yeah, now the weather with a man.